Welcome to this video where we're going to look at using the Microsoft Assessment Platform 7.0 to actually perform readiness to see if we're ready for Windows Server 2012. So the first thing in the map tool here that we need to do is actually go and create an inventory database. So I'm going to create an inventory database for our Swindon data center. So I'm imagining we're going to call the database Swindon data center. So I press OK and that will go and create a blank database for storing all of my data in. So as you can see on the steps to complete, the, the, the form is com completely read really, basically asking me to go through and complete each step. So for this process I first of all need to complete a performance inventory. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell it that I want to obviously analyse Windows machines. As you can see Map allows me to ass assess many other platforms. I can then decide how I'm going to tell it about the computers that I want it to assess. So I could query Active Directory, use networking protocols, um, pull data from Config Manager. Um, in this case I'm actually going to give it an IP address range that I wish it to scan. So I'm going to give it the, the starting address, so 192.168.1.100 and the ending address. So again 192.168.1.130. So having specified the start and end address, I could put other subnets in if I wanted to, I can press next. So the next thing I'm going to do is specify the credentials that I need to use to be able to communicate with those machines. So I need to specify local administrative credentials for those systems. So these could be just username, password, domain name and username. Um, so obviously I'm going to save those credentials and it's the same set of credentials for each, each machine. So just confirming the credential order because if you have specified multiple credentials you can get the system to use them in a specific order. I then get the summary page and then I press finish. So the system will now go off and start actually uh, scanning those IP addresses and working out what's on the end of each of those IP addresses. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to go and complete so we'll pause the video here and come back once this is completed. So as we can see the analysis is complete it's actually found some machines successfully and there's been a couple of failures on other systems. So quite happy that um, I've got some reported data back for this demonstration. So we can close that dialog box and we can start to work with the data. Having now completed the um, collection of data we can go into the server section in the map tool and we can look at the Windows Server 2012 readiness. So first of all the system will give me a, a simple pie chart telling me how many systems met the requirements, how many systems did not meet the requirement and how many machines we had insufficient data. It will also just give me obviously some percentage breakdowns and it also highlights based on the machines it's infantried, what operating systems they were running, um, and any specific uh, server roles they actually had enabled on them as we can see here. So the next thing we would do is we're going to generate the proposal report so we click the generate proposal report on the right hand side and the system will then go and generate us an Excel spreadsheet. So <coughs> we'll close the uh, status box showing that the report has been generated successfully and then we'll go to the tools menu uh, so the view menu and we will actually open up the uh, saved reports so this will actually take us to an explorer view which will uh, have the Excel report sitting in it and we can review the Excel report. There are some parameters in the, uh, in the report process in terms of what we would regard as minimum specification for a Windows Server 2012 system and we'll see later on in this video how we can change those default parameters. So there's the Excel spreadsheet and we can actually first of all just have a quick look at the tabs that we've got running down the bottom so, it's, um, so the first tab is the summary tab so again just really giving us similar information to what we actually got in the first screen the second tab actually shows us the assessment the hardware requirements that have been used in this assessment so minimum CPU memory free disk space and whether we worry about a DVD drive or not the next assessment actually breaks down the individual machines we've assessed and whether the assessment was successful for them. So for the couple of machines that have failed you can see uh, they were virtual machines and basically they failed because the machines weren't found. Uh, so it's that second column which becomes quite important from troubleshooting. We then on the next tab got the breakdown of the roles that exist so we can see the roles 
that existed across my servers. And then on the discovered applications, we actually get an application inventory of all the applications that were available installed on my systems and how many systems had each application. This has a database of about 60,000 applications. We then have a similar table identifying each device driver that was inventoried and how many uh, instances of that was inventoried. So we have that breakdown of information as well. We then actually supply the, supply the same information for the device drivers but this time we do it on a per machine basis so you can actually see them per machines. The last tab doesn't contain any data here because this would actually contain information like the domain the machines joined to and um, uh, asset inset information that might be retrieved from the BIOS and my hardware doesn't have any of that. So just a very quick look at the different tabs that exist showing us the data that's available for each of the machines that we've generated to give us an idea um, of how close we are to being ready to migrate a system to Windows Server 2012. So we did see those hardware specification components. Over on the right hand side there's this set uh, properties element, assessment properties. So in here I could actually choose to come and use custom settings to actually change the minimum CPU, free disk space and memory requirements to be used within the assessment. This was a very quick look at the map tool for assessing Windows Server 2012. So hopefully this has been very useful for you. Thank you very much.